Good day, good day! Welcome, my friends. This is your friend Dano. Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rovers. <laughs> How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Guess what we got today? Yeah, it's an unboxing Saturday. Unboxing Saturday. Okay, the story is I got this from my buddy Phil. And he is from the Madison area, which is uh, about, uh, what is it, hour, hour and away, hour and a half away. Anyway, I met up with Phil in uh, Mauston, Wisconsin, at a uh, K-Day event. And Phil is a really cool guy. He, uh, he specializes in treasure hunts and stuff like that. Corvette dude. Yeah, really cool guy. So, hey... Shout out to Phil, and uh, he and he's got a couple of other uh, older gentlemen that uh, collect uh, diecast, and I'm gonna get right into it. But anyway, so uh, they actually uh, get together down there in the Madison area, a couple of his buddies, and they buy a couple of cases of K-Day cars and do their own unboxing there. Um, so he. The last one we went to, because now uh, Kmart is gone, or will be gone, or they aren't doing any more uh, K-Days anyway. Um, let's take a look here. All right, I found a couple. We'll give you a little look at the note there. Yeah, I found a couple of Land Rovers sitting around. Knew they would go to a good home, Phil. All right, you betcha. Thanks a lot, Phil. Great, great, great. Yeah, so at the last K-Day, uh, one of the last boxes, there was uh, some Land Rovers. So let's take a look. And he knows he knows I'm always, always good for him. I think I sold him a, a, a treasure hunt or two that I've found. I don't keep treasure hunts, really. I, I use them for bartering. <laughs> bartering, that's about it. Yeah, I keep an eye out for them. They're, uh, they're good bartering tools, that's for sure. So let's see what he sent us today. Yeah. Well, bam! There we go. We got the first one. 2018, the first tan one that came out. Excellent. Yeah, this is the ones right here. Oh boy. Yeah, Walmart exclusives with the 2019 month on there, Hot Wheels month 2019. The Zamax, the Walmart exclusive Zamax. Yeah, those buggers are hard to come by because they're Zamax, so everybody snaps them up. All the Hot Wheels guys like to snap them up. You know, the other ones, the, yeah, what is it? The brown one, the orange, rusty orange one, the mint one, this tan one, there was a gray one. Nah, you could find those on the pegs pretty easily because, eh, people, yeah, they'd get one and that was it. But these Zamax, these are the ones to have. Uh, a lot of Hot Wheels collectors collect the Zamax, or, or some of them only, only collect Zamax. So we got two, four, six. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is great. Oh, here's a gray one. He slipped a gray one in there. Ha, <laughs> ha. No, that's all right. Yeah, so five Zamax. Awesome. I'll take every last one you find, Phil. You betcha. Yeah, keep an eye out for that Hot Wheels uh, Fast and the Furious one for me, too. <laughs> I don't get down and hunt down there at uh, Madison too much, so uh, that's why you got friends in the in the industry. No, <laughs> friends in the hobby, so they can look for stuff for you, and uh, so you don't have to do too much. We did have to ship these because, uh, well, it, hey, this is quite a bit to hold for a guy, and uh, Phil, he's a good guy, and he held them too for me, uh, but uh, we weren't going to be doing any more K-Days, so he's saying, hey, hey, you mind if I send them? I'm like, no, go ahead. So, there we go. Awesome. Thank you very much, Phil. You're a good buddy to be uh, 
pals with in the in the hobby. So, so to celebrate, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I uh, did a model review on one of these on this model, the uh, 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab, and um, I took one apart, but I never took the Zamac apart because I had only had one. But now that I've got a couple, you want to drill it apart? What do you think? Huh? Huh? Drill it apart? All right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, charged up the old battery on the old drill here. So uh, let's get a little downward pose here so we can see what we're not doing right. All right, take it nice and easy. This is a plastic base. So it ain't going to take much to get down in there. I really wish that uh, I get to get a computer and uh, where I could do some editing and stuff like that. I got an old laptop right now. Uh, and so I, I don't have an editing program. This is all, all this is done on my phone and I barely can upload stuff with my old laptop to YouTube. So someday, hopefully, we can get a new laptop going or a computer. So then I can start showing you how to d customize and stuff these things, you know? That's the fun part of this hobby. I do have a, a, I do have some talent. I'm not saying a lot of talent, but uh, I got some room now. Oh, there it goes. I got some room now in my new uh, location here, so we can uh, start customizing. Right now, all I get to do is just uh, drill them apart and. Uh, do some wheel swaps or whatnot. All right, you ready? Bam! There it is. There it is. Beautiful. I haven't have, even haven't had time to strip one of these down for my uh, Zamac collection of all my Hot Wheels and Matchbox and all kinds of different. I'm building a Zamac model collection. Here's the beauty piece right there. Nice blue window. That's really sharp. I really like that. Let's see if we can like focus on that one, huh? Yeah. Nice clear window. Oh, almost looks like it's got wipers uh, imprinted on there, don't it? Almost. Not quite, I don't think. Then the uh, Exo interior, as I called it. Nice black, yeah, wait, I think uh, I detailed one of these once with a little sharpie and, but yeah, nice, nice interior, not bad. Uh, the steering wheel, like I say, a little wanting, it does have a little shifter there. And then the back looks pretty cool, a little five-seater, nice, nice. And then the base. Which, you know, a typical three prongs to hold in those wheels. These wheels aren't bad. These other wheels, holy cow. Those are, those are wagon wheels. I do not like those. They're huge. They stick out. Yeah, they almost remind me of the old, old 90s Range Rover wheels that stuck out so bad. These are a little bit smaller, uh, skinnier profile. Sharp looking. And they didn't do too bad. Old Hot Wheels didn't do too bad on the underskirting. They got the pumpkin offset on the rear. The front is not offset, but hey, we got a differential and a drive shaft. So there you go, folks. Take another look at the uh, Hot Wheels 2015 Land Rover Double Cab. So that sits on there. See, that's got prongs on there. So if you did take those three three prongs off that holds the axles on, that's all right. You can cut them right off because this holds right on there. Be nice to get some detail, more in detail on that uh, on those eyebrows to bring them to stand out a little bit more. And then we got the interior. We're gonna slide that glass that goes over the the one post. Nice blue. I like how they uh, they match the uh, the blue of the deco 
with the blue of the window. That is sharp. This is a sharp truck right here, folks. Well, there you go. An unboxing Saturday and a little peak review again with the uh, Hot Wheels. Zamax. Can't beat it, can ya? Beautiful truck. Can't wait to get my shop set up so I'll, and, and like I say, get the uh, capability of editing so I can uh, start doing some customizing or show you my customizing. Uh, ever, up till now, I've just been showing you what I have been working on. So, all right, there you go, my friends. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.